guys, uh, Marco here from Aviero Live CS. Welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, we'll, today we'll continue talking about flight controls and this is part four of this series. And today we'll be talking about normal operations. In normal operations, I want to mention the steps related to the flight controls during the different procedures we have to complete. So let's go there and we'll start with the pre-flight procedure, which is usually done by the first officer. What we have to check here is the flight control panel, which you'll see a picture here. We check the flight control switches are guards closed and verify that the low pressure lights are illuminated. Flight spoiler switches, guards closed. Yellow damper switch on. Verify that the yellow damper light is extinguished. Verify that the standby hydraulic low quantity light is extinguished. Verify that the standby hydraulic low pressure light is extinguished. And we verify that the standby rotor on light is extinguished. We'll continue to the alternate flaps master switch, guard closed, alternate flap position switch off. Verify that the field differential pressure, the speed trim fail, MAC trim fail and auto slap fail lights are extinguished. Then we'll continue to the pre-flight uh, procedure for the captain. At some point, the captain needs to check that the step out of trim light is extinguished. A speed brake lever in the down detent. Verify that the speed brake armed light, the speed brake do not arm light and the speed brakes extended lights are extinguished. Flap lever set. I set the flap lever to agree with the flap position. In the before start procedure, at some point the captain needs to check the trim. Check each trim for freedom of movement. You see here the rudder trim and you here see the aileron trim. Still elastic trim set to the number of units you get. Set the trim for takeoff and verify that the trim is in the green band. Aileron trim, zero units, and the rotor trim, zero units. Now, if we talk about the before taxi procedure, okay, the captain called for flaps as needed for takeoff. Flap lever, set takeoff flaps. Verify the leading edge flap extended green light is illuminated which is this light here. Flight controls, check. Make a slow and deliberate inputs one direction at a time. Move the control wheel and the control column to full travel in both directions and verify freedom of movement that the controls return to center. Hold the nose wheel steering wheel during the rotor check to prevent nose wheel movement. Move the rudder pedals to full travel in both directions and verify freedom of movement and that the rudder pedals return to the center. Now, these couple of tables here, I believe they are useful and it's good to know. Uh, one of them is for the takeoff flap retraction speed schedule and the flap extension schedule. So I just want to show you an example here. If we are taking off with flaps one, at a speed display one, which you can see here, you select flaps up. Now, if we talk about the flap extension schedule, and we have this picture here, if you have the current flap position up, at a speed tape display up, you select flaps one. Command speed for selected flaps one. Okay. So now let's talk about the landing procedure. And here I'm going to talk about the ILS, okay? Because there are different kind of approaches. But here I'm going to talk about the ILS only. When uh, the pilot flying calls for flaps, according to the flap extension schedule, which, which we just uh, checked in the previous tables, set the flap lever as directed, monitor flaps and slats extension. Always monitor that the flaps and the slats are doing what you're expecting them to do. 
Then call for flat 15 and set the flap lever to 15. At some point, the pilot flying will uh, set the speed brake lever to arm here and verify that the speed brake arm light is illuminated. We want to see this light illuminated. At glide slope capture, call flaps as needed for landing and set the flap lever as directed. Now let's review the go around and miss approach procedure. And I remember we are talking about normal operations, two engines, go around, we'll select flat 15. Then position the flap lever to 15 and monitor flap retraction. And I don't know if you remember, we talked about these two gates here that they prevent to select the flaps beyond the go around flap. So we have them in uh, two positions, flap 15 and flap one. So in this case, after the go around, we go to flap 15 and then we monitor the, monitor the flap retraction. At acceleration height, call flaps according to the flap retraction schedule. Set the flap lever as directed, monitor flaps and slats retraction. Now, during the landing roll procedure, a pilot flying verifies that the speed brake lever is up, and the pilot monitoring verifies that the speed brake lever is in the up position. So it should be here. And if we talk about the after landing procedure, the captain moves or verifies that the speed brake lever is down, and then the pilot monitoring set the flap lever to up. So guys, that's basically it with the normal operations. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now. And don't forget to hit the bell so you will be notified once I upload a new video. Again, if you think this video could be useful for somebody else, please share it. And that's going to help me a lot to grow the channel. So guys, next week we will be talking about non-normal operations. Please keep in mind, we have many non-normal checklists for the flight controls. So I will try my best to summarize the most important things. Until then, guys, please take care and hope to see you soon.